81, Wyatt Walters. 81, Wyatt Walters. Admitting number 91, Kobe Dixon. And defense number 94, Hunter Sheehan. The Mustangs are coached by Mr. Brian Hogan. And now the starting lineup for the Livonia Avon Lakers. And attack number one, Derek Wigley. Committee number three, Matthew Potter. And attack number seven, Jackson McInerney. Committee number 12, Shane Walid. And goal tonight, number 15, Matt Batchel. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, knowing that answers to your questions are just a phone call away, and that there's a friendly face to guide you when you need it, we think you're going to like it, because it's banking that fits your life. With all the technology you need, backed by service you can trust. Banking on the go. From people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. Investing in you. Network and Canandaigua Academy where today it's the section 5 lacrosse championships getting us started is in class D featuring the Pen Yan, Pen Yan Mustangs and the uh, Livonia Avon they're not the brave they're not the uh, Livonia Avon Lakers, there we go. Livoni have our Lakers. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sam Schreier. Glad to have you along for the broadcast today. Joined by Coach Ed Mulhern and Coach Mulhern. Uh, today's game features uh, two contrasting styles of play. Number one and one, a team that knows how to win championships, and another, a team that's here today and uh, looking to capture a Section 5 title. It is a very unique situation. You know, 10 years, I think this would be 25 in the last 26 years, and uh, I'm not sure, I think Livonia may have won. I'm not positive on that, but uh, both teams are here. They're both well uh, I think it's, uh, it's gonna be an exciting game. We got some great kids out there, and they're ready to go. Uh, yeah, if you take a look at the uh, players to watch for Livonia Avon, Justin uh, Skelly and Jackson McErnie and the uh, semifinals. McErnie coach had a huge game uh, in the uh, semifinal game over uh, win over Aquinas. 15 to 14 win 
for, uh, for the Lakers. And, uh, they took out the uh, Aquinas Little Irish. They look at the players to watch for the Penn Yan Mustangs. Uh, Griffin Emerson in goal, 132 saves. And Carter Earl, 34 goals, 19 assists. And 34 goals, 19 assists. And, uh, and Coach, uh, watching these two teams play um, on Saturday in their semifinal games, I was very impressed at how uh, number one, Lavonia Avon was able to overcome uh, a big run by Aquinas to uh, take the lead, and then uh, being they were manned down for quite a bit of the fourth quarter and still able to pull out the victory. And then watching Penn Yan, uh, they were in complete control of the entire game. Very much. I was also very impressed with uh, Lavonia's transition game. I was really, really impressed with them. We know Penn Yan's going to be well scored. I think, you know, big key is right here at the X, the faceoff. And whoever has the advantage there, it, it's going to make it interesting. All right, we are set for action today. Our first of two games. And there you go. First faceoff won by the Lakers. They pull it into the box and back it out. And now pull back up on top again. It's controlled by Matthew Connor up at top of the box. Swung around to Christian Rumfola before the other side. Goes it back to the lead. So on the other side to Justin Skelly. We talked about him pregame. Back to the lead. Cut, uh, walking in, now backs it off. There's a shot! And a save made right there. So, Lavonia Avon gave the first shot on goal to game. Very nice save by the Embassy youngster. It's always, you feel great when you make that first save. And a turnover right away. They give it back to the Lakers, and the, they'll have it on the near side. Take it in behind the goal. Right back out in front. There's a shot and a score! Jackson McGurney picking up where he left off at the semifinals. Gets the first goal of the game, and the Lakers are up one to nothing. Jackson's a very crafty young attackman. He does a great job protecting his stick. It's a little, it's, you know, it takes a little left hand, it gets underneath him, gets it back right, finishes in front of the team. One to nothing here, 53 seconds played of the first quarter. Lakers won that opening faceoff and then took advantage of a Penyan turnover deep in the zone. And the X again. Suss out. The Mustangs gonna be playing from behind here in the finals and they win the face off. And a race right in, swings it back out. Now they'll pull it back and set up the offense. It's up top to Carter Earl. Earl surveying. Mustangs did a good job on Saturday in their timing on the game, on the uh, on their offensive possessions. Trying to find that good shot. Earl throws it around to your side. Go by Van Houston. Up on top again. Twenty yards out, and now throws it back on the uh, near side. Van Houston again, now in behind the goal. And a little bit of zone from Livonia, Avon. Yeah, Kenyan's going to be very patient. Top Earl. Near side, Van Houston. He loses that one. Good defense there by the Lakers. Loose balls on the ground. Up in the air, and they'll come away with the ground ball and race in. Great job on that ground ball taken by Malid. And Malid will race towards the goal with a shot and picked out of the air right there by Griffin Emerson. Be back the other way. Mustang setting it up again. Quite a series there. It's a great effort by the Penyon get back in the hole and check the stick from behind to be able to turn over. Get back to the offensive end. They're going to be very patient here. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll wait to shoot the shot they want. Up out top again. Controlled by Carter Earl. Earl swings it off far side. Swung back in behind the goal. And on the other side, Van Houston. Van Houston to the goal and score! And ties it up for the Mustangs. It's 1-1. Just about three minutes in here. Nice little goal by Van Houston, coach. Very nice. He uses his left hand, 
I, I believe he took advantage of the short stick and uh, got underneath again, just similar to the goal at the other end, and stuck it left handed. Nice job by the youngster. He's off. On the way here, each team winning a face off and each team able to score a goal. Three minutes in, and there you go. Second face-off win for Matthew Connor. Connor will race in again for the Lakers. One fired in behind the goal. Come around near side, Scully. Far side to Wigley, and now they'll throw it back around again to the near side, controlled by Scully. Skelly surveying the defense. Skelly can move, face to the left, face to the right. Now goes back to the other side. Back. Back in again, and now run the rack back. Back down low again. Robin McErnie. Up on top. Down low. Control by Wigley. Behind the goal, fires around the other side to back Ernie. Top again. Lakers being patient here and now have it in behind the goal. Polk stepping in there for the Mustangs, trying to knock it free. Cutting towards the net and push off there. Trying to cut towards the goal and then backs it off and fires it back up on top again. Joe Byron Fola. Trying to spin move. This one came loose, went back to Shirts. Now back up on top again. Lakers will set things up. Spin move. Trying to find their shot. Falls on the ground. And they will fight for it. And Tony Avon able to come up with that. It's picked up by McGurney. That long shot. And it goes long. And Backup is there and it'll stay with the Lakers here with seven minutes to go. Ted is doing a great job playing inside, they're not chasing outside, they're making, uh, making Lavonia come in tight, which causes it, uh, the penny on slide to be very short and it shrinks the field. Comes back out, the recovery by Emerson, and Emerson will control this one. He throws that long pull out. Wyatt Walters lost it and nearly recovered by Livonia Avon. Penyan trying to clear and that's going to be a violation there. So they didn't get it over in time and the Lakers are going to get possession back. Good job by the Lakers there. Very nice ride. Great job. You have 20 seconds once the goalie or the defense comes up the ball to get over midfield. Out. Going through and here in the box, Scully controls it. Goes back up on top again. Getting towards the goal. A pass. Ball came down, but the Lakers recover it. And they throw it back up on top again. Firing towards the goal with a shot made by Malid and saved made by Emerson. And Emerson's going to come back up with it. And now the Mustangs are going to attempt the clear here. The long pull. Racing out of the zone. And he does get the clear across midfield. As Hunter Sheehan took it out. Now step into the box and pull back out again. As Tegan Finger throws it back to Connor Earl. And the Mustangs are in control here now. Five and a half to go in the first quarter in a tie game. See what the uh, Mustangs do here in their second possession here on offense, Coach. Yes. Uh, again, it looks like Livonia's playing a little zone. And they're very tightly packed. Uh, be interesting. They're going to run a little dodge here and then try to draw. There they go. Throws it back on in front with a shot. And nice save made right there. Pulled down by Beachel. Only on the ground. Beach will come up with it again. Two big plays made by the Livonia Avon goalie, and it's Beach will coming up with that. And then 
on the clearing attempt. It's lost and picked right back up again by the Mustangs. Racing back in on the far side. Now pulled back up on top again is Connor Earl. Will go to Carter Earl rather will go to work for Pendian. Class D championship game. The Mustangs the only team to ever win a Class D championship. They're looking for their 26th overall Section 5 title in either C or D. And that's some sort of alignment there. They're back near side. And back up on top again. It's a cut towards the goal by Braden Finger. Slides it back up on top, controlled by Carter Earl. And again, back in behind the goal. The Mustangs in control. And Houston towards the front. There's it far side. Yeah. All right, trying to draw someone, then flash somebody through the crease area. They're going to do a nice job recovering there. There's a pickup, and then keeping it in. Stinks pull it back out again. But now Carter Earl will control it. Now it's fired back in behind the goal. Long try to cut three. Get back on top. Fires it home. You saw that coming, Coach. You saw Carter, Carter Earl bury it home, two to one. Very nice. The wing dodge drew two defenders, and they passed it over to Carter, and he was wide open up top, and he had a great look at the goal, and he cashed in. That's tough on the goal when you give him up an eight to ten yard or middle of the cage with no, you know, there's no interference whatsoever. The defense kind of collapsed there, right? Yeah. They're trying to get, collapse that zone yeah. that they're setting up. They did. They yeah. sent two to the ball, and as soon as they did that, somebody's got to slide over and pick up the shooter. And uh, obviously they didn't. Two to one, Pettyan in the lead. Back-to-back -back goals for the Mustangs. And now at the X, it's won by Livonia Avon. The Lakers coming back. Connor in control. Connor spins out of it. Back out. 25 yards out, Max swings on near side. Controlled by Skelly. Skelly throws it back up on top again, and Rumfola will be in control. Back off to the far side. Back up on top again. Swing rolling towards midfield. Ah. And they get. What are they calling there? Uh, offside. Offsides. The defender from uh, Livonia just stepped over by about two or three yards. Uh, that, that's part of playing on a field you're not familiar with. I don't think he recognized exactly where he was on the field. And, uh, stepped over. The Mustangs with the lead, approaching two minutes to go in the first quarter. Leading two to one, they're set up their offense again. Carter Earl in control. One swung out, far side, back up on top again. Earl controlling it. Back in behind the goal. He's off on the far side again and back up on top again. Earl in control. Is it out? 10 yards out. Finger. Swings that one. Just playing catch back and forth here. Trying to break down that defense again. Top. Fake the shot there. Now Earl will fire one, goes long, and the backup for Penyan. Saw a couple times in the semifinals, the backup was there, Coach, but they were giving it to the other team just by, just by a nose. And, yeah, sometimes they're highly contested, and it's closest to the ball, not closest to the line, and sometimes that's confusing. And, uh, you know, occasionally the referees might miss one. Ten years out, backs it out, now throws it around, far side, minute to go in the first quarter. Up again, there's a shot, it hits on the turf and rolls out of bounds, and they're gonna call that off a leg and out and down. So the backup there, this time for Livonia Avon, and 
They're going to get a chance here with 50 seconds to go. Let's see if this is the final possession of the first quarter. It's a long pull, gets it across. Nice clear for the Lakers. Scully carries it in. Now it's walked in back behind the goal. 30 seconds to go. I would think they'd look for the last shot here. Boeing up top. Gives it off to Matthew Connor. Swung to Wigley. Round to Skelly. Now Skelly trying to cut towards the net. 10 seconds to go. Plays it back up on top again. Wigley. Wigley towards the goal with a shot. And Emerson makes the save. Emerson coming up with it. And there you go. And they trying to clear it out. And it's the last play of the opening quarter. So pretty entertaining for a scorer coach. Mustangs getting two goals for themselves there, leading two to one after one. Very good first quarter. Uh, Penyan goalie seems to be settled in and seeing the ball well. And uh, you know, right now he's making the saves. We're back for the second quarter next. You're watching the Class D Championship game in Boys Lacrosse on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Are you settling for a boring live stream? Can't see the players' uniforms? No audio? Camera not following the action? Consider a live stream broadcast with Varsity Media. Our announcers help tell the story of your game. Oh, he's, he's got up. Oh, he's in. Touchdown, Farmingdale. We feature multiple camera angles, guaranteed to capture all the action. Touchdown, Oceanside. Plus added features like graphics, instant replay, yeah, the shooters are going to shoot here at Beth Page. <laughs> One of many threes on the day. Interviews and more. It's your time to shine. And with Varsity Media, now you can. Contact us today and book a live stream broadcast with Varsity Media. Online at varsitymedia.net or by phone 516-403-2050. Welcome back to Canada Academy, the Class D championship game between the Penyan Mustangs and the Livonia Avon Lakers. And there you go, Coach, that graphic says it all right there. 22 meetings, no losses for the Mustangs. 22 and 0. You know, uh, Penyan's had an unbelievable, unbelievable uh, tradition. They have a tradition. Uh, the Coach Hobart, Coach Queener, prior to him. It's just crazy how how well they've done year after year after year. And uh, you, you know, you can almost count on them to be her sexual final day. You take a look at the brackets here. Peng Yan defeating, uh, defeating their, uh, winning their semifinal game. They uh, they beat up on Marcus Whitman and then Aquinas uh, dropping to Livonia Avon. Marcus Whitman in that game. They played back and forth for about a couple minutes and then Peng Yan Took a two pretty much the rest of the game. Now we're getting started here in the second quarter now. And upfield, Livonia Avon, the Lakers control things, and they have it on the far side. Livonia had a lot of success against Aquinas in transition, but thus far, Penyan has shut that down and has really forced this into a six on six game, which plays into their hands. Lakers in control and behind the goal. And turn the corner. And go towards the goal and now cut off to the side. And it's controlled by McCurdy. Back up on top again. Right to the near side. Now back up on top. Swung around to Skelly. <laughs> the shot and a score. And we're all tied up. Uh, I didn't quite see. Did he get a pass off there right before he scored? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, there was a, they put, ran a little sweep, threw back, they created a double team, then threw back, and then one more for the goal. And it was one of those, the real play in my mind, the shooter obviously made a great shot, but the person that created that two on one and threw back, that's the old hockey assist that we that's, don't honor across. Right, that's right. That was just, a, that's an outstanding play. Matt Gurney, second goal of the game right there. Great shot. Got you. Low to high, upper corner, very nicely done. Got big goal after big goal in that semifinal game against the Irish and able to prevail there. The Mustangs come up with the round ball as Carter Earl 
will have it. 15 yards out. He now backs it up and Mustangs will set things up as changes come through. Roll with it, surveying the defense. That pass back up on top again. Earl throws it far side. Top to Earl. Pass to Dixon. Dixon with a shot. And it's over the top of Beachel. And the backup comes up for the Mustangs and behind the goal. And we'll set things up again. Spin around. Now put back up on top again. So why Wiggly? <laughs> top, there's a shot made by Connor and loose ball. It'll come back out to midfield and the Mustangs will maintain control. He loses that one. And now Livonia Avon's going to race back and pick up that ground ball. Good play by Connor. Connor right towards the goal. Gets it out in front and is picked off in midair by Emerson. What defense there. Outstanding play by the goalie anticipating that pass across crease. Truly, truly became that 10th defender. Really just really put the stick out there and yeah. just kind of found it. Great job. Great anticipation. Now the Mustangs back in, pulls it in the box and backs it out. And they'll set up the offense again. From the far side, goes back up out top again. To Conley. To Conley again. Trying to look to cut through, double team, now thrown back in behind the goal. Gets it out front with a quick shot, and that one's picked out of midair by Beachel. Good job for the Lakers there. Nice position safe, saw it the whole way. And now a clear made by the Lakers, and they get it in the box. Four minutes gone by here in quarter number two, all tied at two. Top, Wiggly in control for the Lakers. As they set it up and throw it back in behind the goal. And on a spin move, pulls it back, fires it back to Wiggly. It's back up out top again. Pass through the crease and again, it's knocked away and they missed the pass, but they come back for the ground ball. And the Lakers will reset and start over again. Matthew Connor in control. Connor fires it to your side. Wiggly. Wiggly towards the net. Wiggly with the spin. It's a shot. Goes long. And the backup is there. Can't tell if the goalie got a piece of that or not from this angle. It was close either way. It was. It was a wide open shot from about five yards away. Livonia would love to have that one over again, I bet. Very nice ball movement. From back behind, again. Fired it back on top of the shot and a score! Coach, you called that! Mm -hmm. They got that ball movement and Skelly buries it home and gives the Lakers the lead again. They're doing a great job of looking through the crease now and looking up top behind it and uh, the Skelly youngster just caught it and stuck it up top high. You know, those shots like that are very, very hard on the goalie. Even the one as good as uh, Mr. Emerson here. He just found it, found it there. And if you look, that was a uh, early lead, one goal, one goal. And the team's now on two goal runs each. Three teams to score, under seven to go in the first half. Good job there. They had it set up on the play before that and then kind of executed there. And this just missed the shot and got it back the next time. 
Face off down. Face off's about even here. Both teams winning their share so far. And this one coming up for the Lakers and taken into the box. So the Lakers will start it up on the far side. Carried in behind the goal. Again, Look up out top. Skelly, the last goal for the Lakers with a shot. Emerson got a piece of that one. Now the loose ball's down, and it's going to stay with the Lakers. Holy cow! What a sequence right there! Yeah. It kind of popped out. Skelly fired it. Emerson tried to get back to the cage. And it slipped in. It, it was just, uh, that was exciting lacrosse right there. There's a loose ball push. It was a play on situation. They picked it up, moved it once. And Grant Emerson had got it out of the goal while the ball was loose. He was hustling to get back, and uh, Skelly was smart enough to catch it and shoot it before he could get settled. I think the loose ball push may have thrown off the Mustangs just a little bit there. They kind of slowed down, it seems. Yeah, yeah. So it's a two goal lead at four to two. And we have our biggest lead of the game now. 4-2, the Mustangs trail the Lakers. Six minutes to go here in the first half. Face-offs down, one again by the Lakers. And then that's a, not a push there, behind. another one. And what do we got? We got a timeout. Timeout for Penn Yen. So they were trying to come up with that. Little extracurricular activity going on there, but the Mustangs able to come up with it and get the timeout. 5.54 to go, first half. It is 4-2, Lakers in the lead on the Varsity Media Sports Network. When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, knowing that answers to your questions are just a phone call away, and that there's a friendly face to guide you when you need it, we think you're going to like it because it's banking that fits your life. With all the technology you need, backed by service you can trust. Banking on the go, from people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust, investing in you. Stand out from the competition with a Varsity Media college recruiting video. A college recruiting video from Varsity Media can help save money on college tuition and land a spot on the team. We use your best plays with our custom editing effects set to music to ensure a college coach sees your athletic skills. Contact us today to book a college recruiting video. 516-403-2050 or email Jeff at varsitymedia.net. An event organizer looking for a media company to cover live streaming, action photography, and game video for your event, look no further. Varsity Media travels throughout the Northeast covering weekend tournaments, showcases, and championships. Contact us today to learn about our services and packages at 516-403-2050 or visit us online at varsitymedia.net. And welcome back to Canada Academy, the Class D championship game. Penyan and Livonia have on a 4-2 lead for the Lakers. Penyan off the timeout. We'll have possession here under six to go in the first half. See what Penyan drew up here. It's a big possession here for the Very big. That one goes back up on top again. Controlled by Earl. Earl trying to cut towards the goal. It's fired off far side. To Earl again. Near side to Finger. Finger. 20 yards out, back up on top. Back with a long shot. It goes wide. And the back up there for the Mustangs. That one up and restart coming. A wing dodge here. They're trying to like there. Draw two. Two shot. guys to one defender and you move it. And a pretty good shot away too. Very nice shot. You know, 
Livonia seems to be struggling with that high point area off the double th when they send doubles. They're you know, they brought it from a different spot that time. And back up on top again. Controlled by Earl. Earl fires it far side. Trying to get around the defense there in the lead. Back up on top to Earl. Dance through with a shot and it hit some traffic in front and then Don Ball pulled back down by the Mustangs. Approaching four to go here in first half. Back down low. Spinning, spinning it out. Control by finger. Come back in behind the cage now. Back up on top, Carter Earl. To the near side. Earl, there's a shot. In traffic and hits a stick there, and that's nice. Yeah. That's a nice yes, job right, right there. Very good defense here. Now that's about two hours. Now it's key to get this ball cleared. Oh, great pass. Flip to two defenders. Might now Livonia be a little patient maybe to give that defense a rest at the other end. Maybe he cuts it in the box. And your side off to Connor. Connor controls it, throws it back in behind the goal. McErney. McErney goes off our side. Around on the ground and a push there and it'll stay with Livonia. Really stretched out over there. He gets a step here. It's a cut towards the goal. Lost the lost the ball there. Now pulls it back up on top. They'll restart it. Reset things up. Skelly. Skelly with a shot. It's pulled down by Emerson. Good job there for the Mustangs. And now they'll get a clear. And they'll control things here as we're approaching two minutes to go in the first half. Well, saved by Grant. He's got his feet set and sees the ball. He's, he's tough to beat. Carter Earl. Again, and now walk this one down low. One behind the goal. Watch out, cut up! This is everyone, and it will come back down. Livonia Avon will race back in again. The Lakers coming in. Wigley. Wigley backed it off. Now we'll wait for his buddies to come through. There's a shot. He gave the pass to Moline. He just missed it. Grant Emerson did a great job there holding his ground, and he did. Really didn't give him much to shoot at. Griffin Anderson, I'm sorry. Good job there. Grant's an ex-student. Defense! 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 Walking it towards the goal. Now fight it back down low. Trying to spin it. And a timeout called by the Lakers with 1.17 to go. Here in the first half, 4-2 lead for Livonia Avon. You're watching the Class D Championship game in Boys Lacrosse on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? 
We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. Welcome back to Candidate Academy Class D Championship team. You look, the previous Class D champions, well, you're looking right at them. They're the team in orange and white, the Pennian Mustangs. They've never lost a Class B, uh, Class B title. This has been in existence since 2017, and uh, they were in Class C as they had won the previous titles from 11 to 16 in Class C. So they're going for 26 right here, and currently trailing four to two. And off the restart and the timeout. Morning half on. Let's see what they draw up, Coach, here. It'd be interesting to see if they make a decision to hold the ball for the last shot here and go to the go to the half, either ahead, you know, five two or the worst four two. They don't look to be uh, really pushing it, so some strategy here as Pandians is playing back. Starting to get something set up now. There's a shot pulled down by Emerson there. Emerson come up with it again. Very nice save. Penguin still got time. 15 seconds. Let's see if they try to get it over. Call a timeout on their own here. Yeah. About six seconds there. And they will. They will. Coach Hobart called timeout there. Well, 5.5 to go, and a timeout on the field. A 4-2 to two lead for Mustang. the Lakers. We got one big play here coming up. Mustangs with the, with the ball on the Varsity Media Sports Network. An event organizer looking for a media company to cover live streaming, action photography, and game video for your event? Look no further. Varsity Media travels throughout the Northeast covering weekend tournaments, showcases, and championships. Contact us today to learn about our services and packages at 516-403-2050 or visit us online at varsitymedia.net. And welcome back to uh, Canandaigua Academy, 4-2. Livonia Avon in the lead over the Penyan Mustangs and you take a look at the uh, Section 5 Lacrosse Championship set success for the Penyan Mustangs. 25 Section 5 titles, Coach. And it, it seems like uh, every year they're in this game, and they pretty much are. And uh, it seems like more often than not, they're winning these games. Oh, they truly are. It's an amazing, uh, amazing program. Great people. The kids work so doggone hard down there as the coaching staff, and uh, they take a lot of pride in what they do. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see the crowd, but uh, Penyan represents when it comes to sectional time or any game, any big game. They come to Canada, we always know they're going to have a big crowd. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty full here. You see they have their orange championship shirts. It says one team, one fight. The names of all the players on the back. And they get stuff set up. So off of the restart here. At the horn! And a score! It's good! <laughs> what a setup right that, there off that timeout. That, that's what timeout, you know, that's great coaching. Here's the replay here. And even, maybe even better execution. Let's see if we can see know. this one, Coach. Go ahead. Yeah. I think they ran a little little pick or something down low and popped him up. Good pass across. You know, just outstanding. Uh, design of the play and then Quite honestly, the kids did a great job. What a way yeah. to end the first half. So the Mustangs coming up big, but getting that save as Livonia Avon was trying to hold for the final shot. They, they did get a shot away, and then Penyon got the clear with just five seconds to go. Coach calls a timeout. 
and the Mustangs able to fire it home, and it's a one-goal game at half, and uh, right now, Penyan takes that momentum back here into the break. So we'll be back for the second half coming up. It's the Mustangs and the Lakers, four to three. The Lakers in the lead. You're watching the Class D Championship game on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, knowing that answers to your questions are just a phone call away, and that there's a friendly face to guide you when you need it, we think you're going to like it, because it's banking that fits your life. With all the technology you need, backed by service you can trust. Banking on the go, from people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust, investing in you. Varsity Media covers every sport at every level from every angle. Game film. We're Don't miss your chance. Visit section5.org slash mugs and more to see the many options and place your order today. Are you settling for a boring live stream? Can't see the player's uniforms? No audio? Camera not following the action? Consider a live stream broadcast with Varsity Media. Our announcers help tell the story of your game. Oh, it's it's a He's got up. Oh, he's in. Touchdown, Farmingdale. We feature multiple camera angles, guaranteed to capture all the action. Touchdown, Oceanside. Plus added features like graphics, instant replay. Yeah, the shooters are going to shoot at that page. One of many threes on the day. Interviews and more. It's your time to shine. And with Varsity Media, now you can. Contact us today and book a live stream broadcast with Varsity Media. Online at varsitymedia.net or by phone, 516-403-2050. If you're an event organizer looking for a media company to cover live streaming, action photography, and game video for your event, look no further. Varsity Media travels throughout the Northeast covering weekend tournaments, showcases, and championships. Contact us today to learn about our services and packages at 516-403-2050 or visit us online at varsitymedia.net. If you're interested in staying involved with the sports you've enjoyed over the years, we may have an opportunity for you. Section 5 Athletics is currently looking for officials for several sports. Serving as a Section 5 official provides a great way to stay active, contribute to the sports you love, and earn money while making your own schedule. Visit section5.org slash officials for more information and to express your interest. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. Parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. 
don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for, and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd will help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video. For the best action shots and the best angles, look no further than Varsity Media. Our experienced photographers capture your athlete's best moments right from field level. Plus, we offer great keepsakes like bobbleheads, posters, plaques, and prints. For more information about Varsity Media's photography services, contact us at 516-403-2050 or visit us online at varsitymedia.net. It's time to get hyped with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From stage preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. Stand out from the competition with a Varsity Media college recruiting video. A college recruiting video from Varsity Media can help save money on college tuition and land a spot on the team. We use your best plays with our custom editing effects set to music to ensure a college coach sees your athletic skills. Contact us today to book a college recruiting video. 516-403-2050 or email Jeff at varsitymedia.net. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, knowing that answers to your questions are just a phone call away and that there's a friendly face to guide you when you need it, we think you're going to like it because it's banking that fits your life. With all the technology you need, backed by service you can trust. Banking on the go. From people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. Investing in you. All right, welcome back to the Varsity Media Sports Network, the Class D Championship game. You take a look at the brackets. Livonia Avon and Penn Yan playing here. Livonia Avon beating Aquinas, Penn Yan beating Marcus Whitman to get to this game. And uh, it's a four to three game at half. Sam Schreier and Ed Mulhern here with you. And Coach Penn Yan getting some momentum there at the end of that half, scoring with five seconds left on the clock. And they really did get a little love lift there. Uh, you know, these first five minutes, so we're going to tell a lot, Hope, you know, I'm sure both teams are going to come out, give it their all, and uh, see what happens. All right, here we go, second half, and faceoff is being fought for, and one 
by Matthew Connor. And now a push on the loose ball, and it's gonna head Livonia Avon's way. So off the restart. Throw it down low. It's back up out, out top again, controlled by the Lakers. On the other side, as Rumfola has it. Trying to walk it in, and now back up out top again, Rumfola. Back near side, Skelly. Down low and back to Skelly again to Rumfola. Out top, 20 yards out, trying to cut through. Backs it out. Rumfola throws it in behind the goal. Back off to the near side as McErnie has it. And McErnie thought better of it and threw it back up on top again. This one fired in down low. Trying to spin off of it. Goes back up on top. McErnie. Off. Near side, Skelly. Tony's being very patient. And cutting through, lost that one. And it went back to Livonia Avon as Malid hung on to it. Then the ball lost by McErnie, but he's able to recover. And the Lakers will have it again. Connor at the top of the box gives it to Rumfola still surveying Mustang's coming up on him a little bit now goes back in behind the cage fired back around the near side Gurney trying to get the pass through very good defense by Penyan yeah they're still applying that pressure there yeah they'll slide and recover all six kids on the same page. Well done. What Livonia has to do is stay patient, not get impatient, take a shot you don't want. Goes back up on top again to Connor. And we got a call there. Uh, they, call, they put the stall on him and then threw the ball out of the box. There you go. So first possession here for Penny in now in the second half. Three minutes gone by. So far, the Mustangs down by a goal. Class D championship game, Class C coming up next. HFL and Pelmac, HFL the defending champions in Class C, trying to defend that title in our second game today. On a far side, Mustangs have it, back up on top again. It's controlled by Earl, Earl. Fires it near side. Finger. Up top and out of the near to the far side again and back up out top. Finger has it. Trying to walk it in and now pulls it back out. Back up out top again. Controlled by Earl. Earl. Again, very good patience. Good patient, solid defense and same thing offensively. Stepped it in and pulled it back. And Earl has it. Ben Houston. Back up on top, Earl. Again, around to out top. Wouldn't be surprised to see the stall call put on here on Penn Yan. Now, when they put that on them, they have to keep it in the box? They, they have to keep it in the box, the remaining of their possession, even after a shot or even on a penalty. If they go man up, they still have to keep it in. It's a referee's discretion on that it one. It really is, and most referees do not put it on you until you take it behind the cage. So by them keeping it, and they're Shot goes long. keeping it in front of the cage, they, traditionally they don't put it on until you go behind the cage. But that shot just bought him another minute or so. Of that. 
Hold back out. That's why a lot of people would like to see the shot clock in the boys game at the high school level also. Kind of takes the discretion part out of it. Used to be a time thing, right? Like, oh, there's a shot, went through. And a C pulled down by Beachel. Another oh. shot and a score! Beachel made the initial save. It came back to the Mustangs. They buried it home, and we're tied at four. Very opportunistic goal. Picked up that rebound and uh, found himself right in front of the cage. Nice job there by the goalie, but the youngster picked it up, found space. Over the top, nice bounce shot. Kind of turned that one. Yeah, very nicely done. Turned that one. Puts it home. 4-4, 6.47 to go in the third. So on the ground at midfield, fighting for that ground ball, and the Mustangs come up with it. And now back it off. Earl in control and stops. Again, back up out top. Conley. Earl. Far side. Down low and again in front of the bench and then again played back up out top to Carter Earl. Earl fires it to Van Heusen and again in behind the cage. Mustangs have gotten things tied up. Back up out top, there's a shot. Save made, rebound, and it came, went wide. The backup right there for it. Hold back down. Good sequence there for the Mustangs. Very nice. Very nicely done. They stayed on top of it. Got one rebound, got the second rebound, and here we are with the ball again. And Beachel, Beachel able yeah. to come up big there too. Avon needs to find a way to make a save and get a clear here. This one back in behind the cage. Get off near side. About top, Earl tried to spin out of it. Has a far side, it goes back up on top again. Control by Earl. Control by the Mustangs, Conley. Far side, defended by Connor. Earl tried to spin out of it. Gives it off to Conley. The long shot, the flex. Teagan Finger back for it. All the young players on this Penyan team. Very young, and it bodes well for the future. Fires off, far near side, Oliver Conley back up out top. And Houston. Get in, there Tried it is. that one. Really lost it, there's a loose ball, has a chance to come up with it. And the Mustangs will grab it themselves and they're gonna call a push there, right? And look yeah. at that, they call a push. Now they had, to, they had put the stall call on them, delay a game. And so they had, that ball went out of the box and that's what happened there once it did. So. Skelly. If you're Livonia, you want to stop the bleeding here, get a really quality opportunity. With that stall call, if you're a coach in that situation, coach, how, how are you feeling about that? It, it's so yeah, hard. It's tough, right? Shot, yeah. score! <laughs> Take advantage of that stall call. Well done. Goal for the Lakers. A little alley dodge, and they slid up field, and he threw it right behind him. And uh, traditionally, Penyan will come from across the crease to, to uh, you know, pick up that slide. You'll see this defender come, and he's coming just a step late. And uh, hey, they made him pay. Wiggly putting that in for the Lakers, and they've regained the lead. They take advantage of the mistake. Big face off here. If you're Livonia, you want to get a little get on a roll. From 
on the faceoff circle. Matthew Connor's done a pretty good job here. And they get him there. One and Reese right in by the Mustangs. Nice job. Nice job by Jaden Reed on that faceoff. Pull back and throw it up on top to Braden Finger. Finger trying to get it in. Stops, pulls it near side. Finger throws it back up on top again. Three minutes to go, third quarter. 5-4, Lakers leading the Mustangs. Lakers looking for their first title here in Class D. A nice up to the play. front, shot oh. goes long. Great save there. Have got, did he get a stick on that I one? I believe he got a stick or foot on it. He did a great job there. That was a wide open three yarder. They're back up out top, they're through. Mustangs control the long pass. Missed finger there. And Conley racing back for it. Connor, rather. Now trying a clear attempt. The Lakers racing out. Malid. Malid will get it over 20 yards out and takes it into the box. And we start it up. So the Lakers getting a big clear there with two minutes to go here in the third quarter. And hands extending a little bit here. See if they settle back in. And back up on top. Connor. Connor tried to spin out of it. Connor pulling it back. Connor faking it through. Bounces up in the air. Great hustle by Griffin Emerson. Came out and contested it, got back in. And played down. Right around near side, Malid. Malid give it to Skelly, and Skelly pulls it back out again. Matthew Connor will control it from 20 yards out. The Lakers will start it up. Walking it down, minutes to go here in the third. Trying to spin through, pulls it back. Played across and it pulls out back out top again. The lead, the lead fires it home. It's a two goal lead for the Lakers. Wow. Very well done. Attackman drew from behind, came up the, up the right side of the goal, skipped the pass over the top and the boy had the one-on-one -on -one down the alley. That pass. Great pass, great eyes. And he gave him that little spot where it's hard to back up from there. They all came from one side of the field to the other and he snuck it by him. Right underneath that stick there. 46 seconds to go. Big face off here. And loose ball push. ball push. And so Lakers are gonna get it. After the end of the first half, I'd be shocked if Livonia doesn't take this right down to the last second before they shoot it. Schertz has it. Near side. Two goal lead, six to four. Oh. Back in, there's a shot. Came pretty early, 17 seconds, they're, but the backup is there. They're confident. You know. and they're gonna get it off the restart here. Let's see what they do here. With 15 seconds, we're trying to create a second opportunity. Thought he saw it, he's gonna fire it again. And the Mustangs are gonna be closest to this one. So, with nine seconds, Coach, we, they better the same drop. situation again. Yeah, here we are again. You know, yeah. And, and that's a shot you could have had probably with five seconds to go. Uh, they got away with it, good for them. Pass came down, recovered by Livonia Avon. And that will take us to the end of the third quarter. So the Lakers have a hold on this one as we head to quarter number four. Coach, quarter number four should be an exciting one. I think it's gonna be a great finish. You got two teams battling hard. 
Ben Yen's not going to go down without a fight, I can tell you that. 6-4, Lakers in the lead to the fourth quarter next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. Don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for, and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd will help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video. Welcome back to Canandaigua Academy. Six to four, Livonia in the lead. And Coach, uh, that ending sequence there where the Lakers were able to put two goals in pretty late, finding good opportunities, and then stopping the attempt there at the end by Penyan. Very impressed with Livonia, Evan. They uh, came out, they're up two goals, and uh, Penyan turned the tide on them. Came back, scored two in a row. And they finished the quarter to keep the two goal lead. 6 4 going into fourth. It's going to be a fun one to finish. Fourth quarter about to get underway here from Canandaigua Academy. And face off one by Livonia Avon. It's fighting for it. Good defense there as that hold knocked it out of his stick there. And the Mustangs will be on offense now. Well, it's the first penalty of the game, I believe, right? Yeah, we have not had one yet. And that's going to be cutting through, and it goes long. And now the penalty will be enforced. We're going to get here. Looks like 30 second hold, maybe, based on the holding. Yep. We'll see. Is a hold. Or technical. Yeah. 30 second hold and a man up opportunity for the Mustangs. Big time for Livonia to step up and a big time for Penyan. They usually have, traditionally have great man up. They get the right kids in the right spot for the shot. Pull back on outside. There's a shot through. Oh. And he made the save. Wow, Beachel grabbed that one. What a great save. That was that was outstanding man up. Put the ball in the right spot. The kid had a one-on-one -on -one with a goalie, and the goalie just came up huge. And the clear and the penalties expired. So they killed that 30 seconds with that big play there. That's one to remember. Good job here. It's safe for Beachel. Ground ball's on the far side. Fighting for it, and the Lakers will come up with it. And now they'll set things up. If you're the Lakers, you keep attacking, Coach, or you slowing uh, you things know, down here a little bit? Based on the way they've played the end of the quarters, I think they'll keep attacking. I think they're feeling pretty good. I think, you know, obviously got to be smart. That, that uh, yeah. Lost that one. Yeah, that was. Kind of cut through there. Uh, Good defensive opportunity created. Swing it through, across midfield. The long pole clears it. And now Tegan Finger will come in for Penyan. Warm and toasty on Braves Field, Coach. Yes, it is. It's a great night. This is the way sectional should be. Great crowd, great weather. Two good teams battling it out. This one back up on top, Wigley. Wigley fires at far side, goes back up on top again. Back to the near side and Wigley in control. Wigley. Throws it far side and it's uh, controlled by Van Heusen. 
He's gonna try to spin off of it. Fires it for the score! Van Houston puts that one in. And it's six to five. He did a great job there of staying patient. He had a nice, he had an isolation type situation with a short stick. And he just kept staying with it. And the young man, uh, you know, bit on the right hand. He turned back to a strong hand and put it in the far pipe. Good goal. Big goal for the Mustangs right there. Six to five. Under 10 to go in the fourth. Big face off coming up here. And when we say big, it gets magnified every minute that goes by in the quarter. This one on the ground. This ball's fought for, hand is up, it's a push, and it will go to the Lakers. Matthew Connor is a crafty young fellow. He's, he's a, not the biggest kid in the world, but boy, he puts his body in position. And then he, I give him a little love and he throws that pass, but I, you know, he's done a great job tonight on the faceoffs. And this ball fought for by Wigley. This one cut across oh, midfield. Time out by Penyan. So Penyan able to recover possession there off that loose ball, and they're going to be able to set things up here. Down a goal, 8.54 to go, fourth quarter. We're back for the rest of the game here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, knowing that answers to your questions are just a phone call away and that there's a friendly face to guide you when you need it, we think you're going to like it because it's banking that fits your life. With all the technology you need, backed by service you can trust. Banking on the go. From people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. Investing in you. If you're interested in staying involved with the sports you've enjoyed over the years, we may have an opportunity for you. Section 5 Athletics is currently looking for officials for several sports. Serving as a Section 5 official provides a great way to stay active, contribute to the sports you love, and earn money while making your own schedule. Visit section5.org slash officials for more information and to express your interest. Canandaigua Academy. 5-5 game, 8.54 to go in the fourth quarter. At, the, uh, at Braves Field here, the Mustangs and the Lakers in the Section 5 Class D championship game. And the Lakers looking for 26th. Section 5 championship, and coach, they trail by one, but they're off of a timeout here, and uh, they've been pretty good off timeouts. Off the time, they're very good out of timeouts, and you know, they, they just got to settle in, get a good shot opportunity. Thus far, the Livonia goalies come up with some really big saves, but this is, that's. There's uh, another one there, and that kind of went a little high. Yeah, a little high. But that was a great opportunity. They're drawing two, and then, uh, you know, kicking it up top. Carter Earl, and he, you know, he's got a nice shot. Walters, Wyatt Walters, trying to spin out of the defense. Pulls it back around. Played back by Finger. Here on the far side. Really trying to get 14 to step to him, and then that's what There's happened. a shot, that's a tie score right there. Carter Earl. Six all. Yeah, Penyon's going back to the same thing. Uh, they're, they're isoing off the wing area, and they're just trying to draw the long pole, 14. If he doesn't come, they get the shot. If he does come, he moves it one more, and Carter Earl's wide open. There he comes, steps to it. They got to get there quicker. And 6-6 six, six with eight minutes to go in the game. And a timeout. The Lakers are going to talk about this one, right? I, I believe they, you know, probably want to gather themselves here. Six all. We'll have the uh, big face-off on the way next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Looking for a great way to commemorate this season's sectionals? 
Section 5 Athletics is excited to work with Mugs and More to offer a variety of apparel options for each sport and each season. Items include graphics specifically developed to feature the sport and year, including items such as hoodies, hats, pants, and more. Apparel for each season is available for a limited time, so don't miss your chance. Visit section5.org slash mugs and more to see the many options and place your order today. For the best action shots and the best angles, look no further than Varsity Media. Our experienced photographers capture your athlete's best moments right from field level. Plus, we offer great keepsakes like bobbleheads, posters, plaques, and prints. For more information about Varsity Media's photography services, contact us at 516-403-2050 or visit us online at varsitymedia.net. Welcome back to Canandaigua Academy. There you see it, 6-6. Six, six. Class D championship game. We're in for a big finish here, Coach. We got a great one. We got a great one. Going to be a lot of fun. Both teams juiced up. Penyan coming off two goals. Livonia, you know, trying to fi finish their dream. It's uh, going to be a lot of fun here. And here we go. Big face-off on the way. Lakers have shown that resiliency all game. It's on the ground. They have a loose ball. Push. And it'll go to the Mustangs. Hanging on to that momentum. Big face-off win right there. And now taken in the box and pulled back out. And now Carter Earl will start things up believe, for the Mustangs. I believe that was Jaden Reed. Great that job. Win. Yeah. 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 Great job right there. Earl up top. Far side. Goes in behind the cage. And the Mustangs control it. For the man, it gets back to Earl. And spreading them out here. And there's approaching seven minutes to go now. Get back up out top. Take the shot. Now starts to spin around. Now gets a shot. Nice Goes shot. long. And back up there by the Penny, Mustangs. Penyon's got Livonia back on their heels a little bit here. They're really doing a nice job. They can feel the momentum. Livonia's got to come up with a, a defensive stop here and uh, you know, bide the tide. Certainly been some runs for both teams back and forth. It's a sustained run. Let's we'll see where they end up there. Controlled by Van Heusen, who fires it back in behind the goal. Now the Mustangs will carry it back up out top again. Van Heusen. Van Heusen trying to spin around the defense. Van Heusen fires it to the front. Goes up. There's a shot. And a goal! The Mustangs take the lead with under seven minutes to go. You know, they're just, they're just executing outstanding offensive lacrosse for Penyan. Drive down the alley, draw. Let's watch him fake Mitchell out here. Boom, and then he looks right there. And the unfortunate thing in the lacrosse world, 16 made the play to draw two. He doesn't get a point, he gets that hockey assist. I love it. That's great lacrosse. It's Caden Dixon. And now, now you're gonna find out, you know, Livonia, they gotta, they gotta reach deep here and, and uh, you know, fight off this tide that's rolling downhill at him. Face off is on the ground. Loose ball picked up by Livonia, by Livonia Avon. They're able to carry it through. There's a shot towards the goal and went long. And they need a quick that, shot there. That's that about was, the fastest I've seen them that go. That was. They had a great opportunity and they, they pushed it. You know, now it's a matter of handling uh, the emotions and being able to settle in and play championship lacrosse under pressure. That one nearly went out to midfield and good hustle there by Skelly to race back. Skelly will fire it and back up there for the Lakers. Lakers from behind the goal. And it'll spin off. 
back and goes back up out top again. Carried through by Malid. Malid almost lost it. Malid able to hang on. Now approaching five minutes to go here. One goal lead for the Mustangs. They've scored three straight. They're being down six to four, going to the fourth. It's seven six. From behind the goal, tried to spin top the front. Long shot, and good, 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 uh, good thought process there, getting that shot off. You know, and the key, back. key to recognize your teammate and make sure you've got you're the backup, so that you uh, you get that ball back off a shot. Wigley in control, nice nearly check. lost it, and he did. Looks like the Mustangs are going to come up with the ground ball. Cole pulls it back, and turnover right back again. And anyway, we've given it right back it. again. Who's got to grab it and call a timeout or something? <laughs> this one along the sidelines. Ground ball still fighting for it. And the Lakers are finally able to come up with that one. What a big sequence that was, and a big sequence for the Lakers. They really needed to come up with well, that one. Yeah, that was... Both teams playing hard with the ball on the ground. Lee's gonna race towards the goal. Lee's gonna go in behind the cage. Stops, goes to the front. Lee with a shot, hit the stick in front, went long, yeah. and the back up for, wow! Great. What a play there for Emerson to get back. What a great effort by Griffin. Just a great job. Both teams playing their hearts out here. Circle that one, coach, four minutes to go. Both teams playing their hearts out. Clearing attempt, goes oh. long and rolls out of bounds. So a break there for the Lakers. Off the restart. Pavoni Amon clears it. And now we'll start it up again. Back up on top, exciting one here, under four to go. Big save, just made, but then that turnover, Skelly. Skelly looking for the shot. Skelly backs in, now pulls it back. On the far side, back up out top again. Hoing goes back in behind the goal. Lakers controlling it from behind the net. Looking for a spin move, trying to find a man. Mostly guarded there, gets it back up out top. Long shot, Emerson makes the save. Great, great Big save, save there. for Emerson and a and clear. And you got Penyan in transition, they got numbers. Oh, great defense there by 16 to get a stick on that. And the ball's in the air, it's on the ground. What are they gonna call? Penyan called timeout. Penyan got it and called it, right? Yeah. Wow, what a sequence there. Coach, three minutes to go. It's seven to six. Pen Yan looking for Section 5 championship number 26. We'll find out what happens next on a Varsity Media Sports Network. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights, we can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. to Canandaigua Academy, Class D championship game. Penyan leading seven to six. They've called timeout. 
and kind of uh, talk about this a little bit, Coach Hobart. If you're if you're on the sidelines now, what are you telling these guys here with three minutes to go in the lead? Well, they're going to run their offense. They're going to look for a good opportunity. They won't take chances. They'll be smart. Uh, you know, cautiously optimistic and aggressive. Cautiously aggressive. If that makes sense to you, you can't go into you know go into a shell. So I think if they get an opportunity, they'll take it. But they're gonna they're gonna make Livonia play some defense. They won't give it to him. I'd, I'd be shocked if Livoni doesn't come out of the zone at some point. Chase a little bit. Back up on top. Controlled. 25 yards out now. Fires it back near side. Along the goal line. And again, back up on top for the Mustangs. Van Houston. Van Houston still looking for it, and he gets it back out to Earl. Earl trying to spin around it, approaching two minutes to go now. Spreading it out. A little bit more defensive pressure applied by the Lakers. Now cutting forward, cutting towards it. It's laying on the ground, and it's in! It's a two-goal lead for Penyon. Wow. Big goal. Very Let's take nice. a look at this. Very patient. They just move the ball in transition. They draw two and just bing bing you. See, this is kind of developed Boom. here. Nice catch. And oh, he went five hole there. Just snuck yeah. by him. So now, you know, two minutes to go. The game's not over. If you're Livonia, you gotta get it off the draw and go quick. Obviously, if you're Penyan, you're gonna take your time. Face off, coming up. Loose ball on the ground. Penyan comes up with it. Down, push there. Oh, he's in yeah, under two minutes. You got to keep it in if you got a lead. So he must have had the ball in the box and stepped out of it. All right. So it's going to go back to the Lakers now. But it is, instead of a one goal game, now a two goal two game. Two goal game lead. And the Lakers are going to have to hurry up. They need to push it here. To the cross. Be quick. Always said you got to be quick, but don't hurry. Wiggly. Get yourself a quality opportunity. You gotta take it. Kicks it back. Try to fire it through. Wiggly with a shot. Emerson makes the save. You know, That's a big save right there. Very nice. He played great position on that. Stepped up a little bit. So, you know, that's where the... Ground ball, push. And it's gonna stay with Pen Yen. And now the Mustangs Starting to feel it here. Livonia's really got to go out and chase now. They got to look to bring your goalie out and double. Oh, in and out of the box again. Again? Yeah. And again, it will go back to Livonia Avon. And if they can score quick. Cross in, and did they call timeout? Call they timeout. Did. Did. They did. 55 seconds to go. Pen Yam with an eight to five lead. I'm sorry, eight to six lead. It was six four going to the fourth. Pen Yan scored four unanswered. 55 seconds to go. Can Pen Yan hang on? We'll find out next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Are you settling for a boring live stream? Can't see the players' uniforms? No audio? Camera not following the action? Consider a live stream broadcast with Varsity Media. Our announcers help tell the story of your game. Goes McCarthy. He's got up. Oh, he's in. Touchdown, Farmingdale. We feature multiple camera angles, guaranteed to capture all the action. Touchdown, Oceanside. Plus added features like graphics, instant replay. Yeah, the shooters are going to shoot here at Beth Page. <laughs> One of many threes on the day. Interviews and more. It's your time to shine. And with Varsity Media, now you can. 
Contact us today and book a live stream broadcast with Varsity Media online at varsitymedia.net or by phone 516-403-2050. Welcome back to Canandaigua Academy. Five seconds to go here. Eight six lead for Penyan off of a timeout. Lakers ball. Coach, after this timeout, you tell the guys you gotta get a quick goal and we gotta get this face off with. Yeah, right? you'd really like to get it one as quick as possible, but you know, hey, if you get one with ten seconds left, you get one. And you never know. You never know. The seen a lot of games. A lot of goals scored in less than ten seconds. But they got to they gotta be, uh, they got to move it. Diligent here. Lee Hart gets on the side. It's out to the front. The oh. shot went long. Everything they wanted right there. They had a great opportunity. Now they'll play it from behind the goal. 45 seconds to go. They'll come back up top. Goes back on top. There's a shot from Connor. Goes long. You know, Griffin Emerson's been making some great saves, and sometimes that gets in your head a little bit. You yeah. come a little bit too fine, and it's it's tough. Wiggly trying to cut through the front. Wiggly got to find it. Spins it out. There's Gotta another look. Back. There's a shot, and Emerson makes another save. Here we go. 20 seconds to go. Emerson's out, and now Penyan's got to get it over. And if they can clear this, this may do it. They do. They get the clear to get it into the box. They're going to hold it here. They're going to race it down, going behind the goal. Down to five. The celebration is on for the 26th time. The Penyan Mustangs are Section 5 champions. The only ever Class D champion, the Penyang Mustangs. What an outstanding, outstanding fourth quarter on their part. They battled all the way through. What guts, determination they had. You know, their coaches drew up great plays. They executed, uh, and quite honestly, you know, they deserved to win at the end. They did a great job. The Bonia battled hard. Those kids gave everything they had, and it's a very tough time for them right now. But uh, hopefully tomorrow morning they'll wake up, the sun, they'll realize the sun still comes out, and they'll be able to take a deep breath and be very proud of their accomplishments. Three solid quarters for Livonia Avon. Pennian really took it to him in that fourth quarter, scoring four yeah. in answer. They kind of locked it down, and Emerson just made big save after big and save. He, he, he made big save after big save, and I think, to me, maybe the unsung hero of the game. In the fourth quarter, I think it was Jaden Reed came in and won some key faceoffs. Did and, yeah. and they controlled the ball that that quarter, and uh, you know that changed a lot of things. It was uh, a well-deserved win by Penyan, an outstanding effort by Livonia and their their coaches and kids. Uh, you know they got a lot to be proud of. You, know, you talk about some of the differences, and you look at a whole game situation. Uh, how big was that goal before halftime that Penyan had right. to get it to back to a one goal game? Yeah, that's, that's a big one. You yeah. know, those are ones that, uh, you know, you, when it happens, you go, oh, it's a goal. But when the game ends, you look back on it and you go, oh, I wish we didn't do this, I wish we didn't do that. But again, you know, they, they all you can do is do your best, and those kids do it. You take a look here, that was it. You know, I think they, they ran them off the crease down there, stepped out. Wow. Five seconds. And, and uh, you know, it was a, and it was just happened to be the perfect bounce shot. You know, he hit it in the right spot. It bounced low to high, that upper corner. And uh, hey, that, that, that's what, quite honestly, that's why they've won 25 in a row. They make championship plays at the right time. But, you know, and, and here's the thing. You know, you look at a team like Penn Yam with all these young guys, uh, young student athletes on their team, right? And if you're Livonia Avon, you think to yourself, you know, we're, we're the higher seed at this point. This is our chance to do this. And they're right there. And, uh, you know, Penny Ann still gets the job done, gets that 26th title. And look at all the talent they're going to be bringing back on this team. And, absolutely. If you're in the in the deep bracket, you look at it, and you look at their roster, and you're like, ooh, they're awfully, awfully young. I think there's two seniors. So yeah. they got a lot coming back. But, you know, young kids don't always develop at the same rate. And uh, 
who knows what other kids have and what they're what they've got coming. Uh, but I'm going to tell you that they're a force to be reckoned with. Congratulations to Coach Hobart, 26th Section 5 championship in the program's history and by far the number one uh, program with the most Section 5 titles. And, and, uh, you know, it's amazing. All those sections to show you how hard it is to win a lacrosse period. And the end, 26 titles, only one state championship. And it, it, well, you know, it's... Uh, it's very hard once you get it's very hard to get out of the section sure and yeah. once you get out it's just you, there's great great teams out there and a lot of times it takes a little bit of luck to go your way ball hits a pipe something like that happens you just never know but well, they uh they battle hard they prepare you know those kids they work their tails off uh, in the off season they got their sticks in their hands they they're so fundamentally sound and just that, that's a credit to the whole program all right we're going to send it down to the field right now into our public address as we present the awards class d penny and mustangs are your champions we'll come back we'll speak to some of the to some of the penny and mustangs after the award ceremony so keep it right here for that Congratulations on a wonderful season. <laughs> Making our awards tonight are the Section 5 Chairman Mike Simon and the Tournament Director Mr. Paul Wilson. At this time, Section 5 would like to recognize the Class B Head Coach of the Year. And this year, the head coach of the year from Penn Yan is Brian Hobart. <laughs> and finally, we would like to award the Section 5 Championship Block in Class D to the Penn Yan Mustang. Justin Skelly. And a tap from Marcus Whitman, Connor Tomian. And Mitty from Livonia Avon, Matthew Connor. At the midfield, from Livonia, Avon, Jackson McInerney. At the midfield, from Penyan, Bryant Van Housen. At the midfield, from Aquinas, Gio Baleri. Also at the midfield from Penyan, Carter Earle. <laughs> On defense from Livonia Avon, Jonathan Cry. <laughs> On defense from Penyan, Hunter Sheehan. <laughs>
tournament going from Panyan, Griffin Emerson. And the 2022 tournament MVP at attack from Panyan, Tegan Finger. like any additional photos, please gather at the center of the field at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask just to stick around here. We're going to hear from Carter Earl and Griffin Emerson. Uh, we'll speak to them about the, uh, the championship in just a few minutes here. So keep it locked into the screen. Good job. Time. Second game, Class C coming up. HFL and Hell Mac. That's on the way at 8 o'clock. But uh, until then, keep it right here. We got uh, Emerson and we'll be coming up here shortly. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, Knowing that answers to your questions are just a phone call away and that there's a friendly face to guide you when you need it, we think you're going to like it because it's banking that fits your life. With all the technology you need, backed by service you can trust. Banking on the go. From people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. Investing in you. Varsity Media covers every sport at every level from every angle. Game film, recruiting videos, highlight videos, sports casts, Thunder, what a look. photography, live streaming, you name it, well, we offer it. Don't leave your video needs to amateurs. Trust the pros. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or visit us online at varsitymedia.net. Looking for a great way to commemorate this season's sectionals? Section 5 Athletics is excited to work with Mugs and More to offer a variety of apparel options for each sport and each season. Items include graphics specifically developed to feature the sport and year, including items such as hoodies, hats, pants, and more. Apparel for each season is available for a limited time, so don't miss your chance. Visit section5.org slash Mugs and More to see the many options and place your order today. Are you settling for a boring live stream? Can't see the players' uniforms? No audio? Camera not following the action? Consider a live stream broadcast with Varsity Media. Our announcers help tell the story of your game. All right, welcome back to Canandaigua Academy and the Penyan Mustangs have won their 26th Section 5 championship and joined by the, uh, the goalie, Griffin Emerson. Griffin. Heck of a game out there tonight. Big save after big save. Can you talk a little bit about what the key was in that fourth quarter? How you guys kind of barreled down, you held them off the scoreboard, and you were able to make some huge saves down the stretch. Talk about that a little bit. Um, the key, the key to that is I'll thank all my teammates. We we all just kind of stuck behind one another, kept kept lifting each other up after a mistake that, that we made. Uh, uh, we kept our heads composed. We didn't we didn't let things get out of hand, and we just we just went to work and took care of what we needed to. Some people might have said you may be the underdog, right? I mean, you guys have a really young team. At Livonia Avon, the number one seed. Talk a little bit about how you kind of played that to your advantage in this game where uh, you may not have been the underdog, but you kind of played it that way. Uh, you know, all season long, everyone's been doubting us, kind of saying we're a little young, a little, little inexperienced, but we're the only guys that know, what, that know what goes on in between these lines every day at practice and in games. And uh, every single one of these guys showed up working their butt off and came to play today. And I, I, no, I couldn't be prouder of any, every single one of them. So we look ahead now. Uh, you guys are going to enjoy this this time. Get ready for your regional matchup. And uh, the Mustangs looking to capture the next big goal, right? That state title should be yep, hopefully on yep. the way for you guys. Griffin, congratulations once again. Heck of a game in there. And uh, you're a Section 5 champion. How does that feel? It feels, it feels amazing. It feels amazing. Right. Congratulations and best of luck moving forward. 
Thank you very Thank much. You. That's Griffin Emerson, the goalie for the Section 5 Class D champion, the Penn Yan Mustangs. And we're going to be joined here by Carter Earl here in just a second, number one. And uh, Carter, can you hear me down there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. First of all, congratulations. Uh, another Section 5 championship for this program. That's 26 Section 5 titles. No team at all has ever won the D championship besides you guys. Can you talk a little bit about what kind of uh, what, what that means to you and what it means for the program? Uh, it means a lot to everyone on this team, and it means even more to the community. All these people that show up to this game in these orange shirts, shirts mean the world to us, and they always have our back as an army. And these boys in these jerseys who are said they were young, said they couldn't do it. We just outworked everyone and showed that we could. Well, I asked, that's, I asked that's, Griffin that's, the same question I'm going to ask you. Uh, they're the number one seed, right? They're coming in. They, uh, they kind of took it to you a little bit. You guys got that late goal at the end of the second half, scoring with five seconds to go. I thought that was a huge turning point in the game, and you kind of weathered the storm there a little bit in the third quarter. But then you held them scoreless all the way through the fourth quarter and then able to put in those four goals in that second in that uh, fourth quarter. What's it mean to be kind of the underdog, so to speak, in a game like this and, and hear what people are kind of saying? I, I love being the underdog. It takes some of that pressure off us, you know. And uh, going back to that goal is huge. It's a big turning point of this game. And uh, going in the half after that, it was just a different game. Our defense stepped up. Uh, sophomores on that team, juniors on that defense, and they got the work. They got the job done, and they they just worked their butts off all night. Well, once again, congratulations and bringing another title home for this storied program and Coach Hobart. And uh, congratulations to you. You played a heck of a game, heck of a season. Thank you, sir. Looking forward to the state tournament now. Got to bring that state title home for Penyon, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Best of luck to you moving forward. Congratulations again. Thank you, yes, sir. Thank you. All right. That's Carter Earl of the Penyon Mustangs. Well, Penn Yan wins that Section 5 title, their 26th Section 5 championship, and uh, the only team to ever win a title in Class D. Well, we thank you so much for being along for the broadcast today. For Ed Mulhern and our producer director in the booth, Joel Belfazer, my name is Sam Schreier. Once again, congratulations to Penn Yan winning the Class D championship 8-6. to six. You've been watching the Varsity Media Sports Network. When you can bank on the go, anywhere you go, knowing that answers to your questions are just a phone call away and that there's a friendly face to guide you when you need it, we think you're going to like it because it's banking that fits your life. With all the technology you need, backed by service you can trust. Banking on the go. From people that you know. That's Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. Investing in you.